Hey there, how's going? Welcome to Loop Learnings and this is another video of Microsoft tips and tricks. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to edit records using record sets. And uh, if you're interested, please make sure that you do watch until the end. I'm sure you will take away something from this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Loop Learnings. And if you are returning, welcome back. Make sure that you hit subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. In my previous video, I demonstrated how to create a new record using record sets. And so this is going to be a little bit different. This is going to be editing the record. So what do we have right now? We have a table which uh, has the records that we actually created in the last video. And we have a form which is sort of a user interface for the user to create those records. And we have a modules which we used to um, store our VBA code and which we can use whenever we wish to do so to create that record set. Now, we have this set of information, right? Now, based on that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a continuous form and I'm going to link that continuous form with this table and then I'm going to create a couple of buttons and then we will do a little bit of VBA as well to actually perform this editing pro uh, process, okay? Uh, not the video editing, uh, the editing of the record or modification of the record. So let's quickly go to the Create tab and uh, we have uh, different forms, right? We choose the form design. I go to the format and I, you can see here, default view is single form and we'll change that to the continuous form. And we come here and uh, we say auto center, yes. Uh, border style, we'll keep that. Record selector, we don't want. We don't want navigation buttons. Um, and uh, you can do a whole lot of, um, for example, scroll bars at the moment is both. We want only vertical. So you can do a whole lot of things. Now let's link this form to the uh, record sets. So let's uh, save this form first. So we'll call it as products list F. Okay. Or we can call it product list. So just save it. We go to the property sheet of this form in the data tab of the property sheet, we see a record set. And in here, we will choose the table which we want to link this form to. Now let's bring all these fields that are in this table onto this form so we can utilize that information. So we select all the fields, we go to the home tab and we make them as black. We'll keep them selected and now we'll right click on these fields and we'll go to the layout and we'll make it tabular, right? So then we will just give a little bit of gap in the header so we can create some buttons there. And let's uh, select all of that and uh, let's reduce the size. This is a bit of boring stuff. Uh, you know, creating, although some people, those who are not aware how to do the formatting, maybe for them is uh, real beneficial. Okay. In any case, we'll not do a lot of, uh, a lot of what do you call the formatting. We'll keep it simple and uh, we'll make it transparent. Now I will see here, I will reduce the gap. Now, let's see the form view. This is the form view, this one. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to do a bit more formatting. So let's right click here, design view. And first of all, I want to put this text onto the left side. And I'm going to put a line here. So go to the form design and we choose line. Okay, I press the shift button onto my keyboard and we keep pressing the shift button and we draw the line here, okay? And now what I would like to do 
is remember there is this line that new I want to get rid of this so how to do that let's go to design view and uh, select that form design property sheet and in here allow addition will turn off now we will not have the additional line now what I would like to do is I would like to have a button here that button will help us to actually open the selected record and we'll have a button here to create a new product so let's uh, grab the button okay let's uh, cancel it and we will name it as new I mean the caption will of the button will be new and we bring it here okay and we bring it close that property sheet and uh, oops let's let's correct this and I'm not using my mouse so that's why I'm having this trouble okay all right so we do that let's uh, see the form view yeah it should do maybe a little bit of space in there that should work uh, let's see how can we make a little bit of space there you go okay now we copy this button and we paste in here and uh, let's make it bigger and we call it create new product okay so now what I want if a user click on this view button I want the uh, respective records to be opened onto this form because this is our main form right and uh, you can see that I have already created a button called edit or update okay we'll talk about this later on now what we will do is we will go to the design view of this form and we'll go to the design view of we are already in design view so we selected that button view we go to the form design we go to the property sheet even tab dot 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 code builder and in here we will uh, type a little bit of code so let's say forms okay we have to give reference of that form forms products f products F exclamation mark and we give the field ID okay and we'll say me dot ID and now we are going to copy this a few more times so we save our time as well and uh, you can see code product make model price so in here we'll say code product made make model so you copy this paste in here because they have to be same okay code all right so in here we select one more line and we say price nope we have to make sure there's no spelling mistake otherwise it is going to be trouble all right so we're done with that there's only one problem and that is we have not given a line of code which will actually open this form so let's give a line of code do cmd dot open form okay and we'll give a form name and that is products f right products f that's the name of the form so let's save that let's close it let's close it now it's time for the testing and save it and go to the form view let's open the samsung galaxy and this does work and I put pro iPhone Pro Max all right 
now this is working now next step is we have to do a bit of coding behind edit button and this time we will use the record sets and uh, we will by using the record set we will update this information and we'll store it in the database okay so let's go to the design view we we'll select that button and we'll go to the event tab dot 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 now this time i'm not going to use the um the modules because people ask hey what's the purpose or benefit of using module they are very beneficial by the way and uh, for sure in i will record one or two videos in which i will demonstrate what are the benefits of using modules and classes for sure anyway so we will use record sets to uh, update this uh, record in the table itself and to do that you know what we have to do we have to declare the variables we'll say dim rs as a record set okay and then you can say set rs equals um current db dot open record set parenthesis open and in double quotes will give a name of the table products uh, t and this time if you remember in the last video when i was creating i do i did mention that you have to give types and options uh, for changing the record deleting the record so this time we are changing the record so we have to give a db open dyna set okay because we are changing the record now your table will have you know multiple records maybe hundreds thousands of records but you don't want to update all the records right you have to find out of those thousands of records thousands of rows from the table you want to find the row that contains the information that is on this form right so for that what you need to do is you need to ask microsoft access to find it out how do you do that we'll say rs dot find dot find first and it is asking hey what do you want me to find i'll say find the id field equals to and uh, we will say ampersand and id field in this table equals to what that's what access is asking so we'll say hey you find this whatever id is populated onto the form find that id from this table and you can use a query as well by the way not for updating but viewing the record so we go here and we say me dot id okay so that's what you are actually using this for now this line of code this simple line will help us to search and let's hope it does when we are actually testing it all right okay now we will say uh, take the information from here and paste it in at this particular table so we'll say rs exclamation mark code equals me dot code right and then we'll say rs and then again of course the repetition so we will add this product exclamation mark me dot product and then you have make rs s rs exclamation mark make equals to me dot make and then you have model rs exclamation mark model and then you have me dot model okay and then you have price so rs exclamation mark price equals me dot price and then by the way we have skip one thing okay and that is this so we'll say rs dot edit because we are updating the ad record and we'll say close that rs dot update and then we will say rs dot close oops and remember we have to close that and we'll say rs set rs equals nothing and once we are done that we will give a message box to the user for confirmation that it is done so we'll say do cmd dot beep and we'll say message box the updates 
to the uh, record has been made okay you can change the message box and you say vb information comma information okay that's it that's the code to update the record and hopefully it works so let's we have debug it now it's time for the testing so let's go ahead and test it so we are on this form and let's open the samsung galaxy and let's change the model code from gn15 to gn15901 and let's hope that it works let's click on that and it says updates to record has been made now let's see whether actually the record is updated or not and to do that now it's not updated here right here we go you have seen just now it got updated because it refreshed in the background you want confirmation you really do there you go it's updated the samsung galaxy all right let's uh change the code again from one five zero one five nine zero one to let's say nine nine three just random number update that and you will see that gets updated here as well in couple of seconds if it doesn't sometimes it doesn't and that's okay because uh, sometimes it doesn't refresh sometimes it does and so uh, if not then you can simply put a code behind this form that it refreshes the record and so for example right now it's not refreshed right so we'll see the product table it is updated but it is not a refresh now it is refreshed okay so that's what i wanted to demonstrate i hope that you have um learned something you have taken away something from this video because you guys were asking uh, some of you were asking hey can you demonstrate how to use record sets and update the record and this is how you do it that's it that's what i wanted to demonstrate thank you very much for watching and if you like whatever you see smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't and hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video and in the next video we are going to uh, i'm going to demonstrate something else which will be useful for sure until then take care bye bye